day 39. Pretty comfortable sleep. It's not nearly as cold as I was expecting it to be. I can't even see my breath. It'll be a little different on the outside of the tent. I did batten it down to the ground as close as I could get because it was a little windy last night just to stop the breeze from getting in. And pretty effective. It's actually quite nice inside my tent. But, you know, it's going to be a little different out there. Um, I'm only an hour behind schedule, so that's not really bad. It's a little after four right now. I already have my coffee made and I'm sipping on it. But, you know, it takes me about an hour to pack everything up. Just does. I'm going to try to make it into town for a quick bite and back out. We'll see how well that goes. But that's the big goal today, you know. Uh, keep your goals low, man, so they're achievable. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, let's get this coffee in our bellies and start going up the way. I believe town is 18 miles away, so... Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, it's shortly after 5. Got everything I need. I'm wearing two puppies right now because it was a lot colder outside of my tent than it was in my tent. Big shocker. Let's see what the day brings us. Pretty chilly morning. Glad I wore two puffies. I am comfortable and in no fear of sweating anytime soon. My fingers hurt, but they're not in pain. So that's tolerable. I put some tape on the bottom of my foot where that little cactus spine has been bothering me. I can't remove the damn thing. It was annoying me all day yesterday, but not painful, just annoying. So I was like, maybe if I put a piece of tape on it, it'll drag it out. I tried removing it with duct tape and everything. I tried everything I could think of to get the damn thing out. Guess this is why some people bring tweezers. And since it was cold this morning, I didn't filter any more water. So I took off out of camp with just under two liters. But in five from where I camped, there's water again. So I figured that'd be a good second coffee place. And two liters is more than enough to get me five miles, even in the heat of the day. Much less right now. It's already warmed up quite significantly. It's actually, I'm glad I'm still wearing two puffies. But, you know, my fingers feel great, and they're not exposed, but this is about as exposed as they get. We're in mittens with uh, liners underneath. I cut a few of the fingers off the right hand so I could work my phone. But even they're mostly comfortable right now. Well, the sun is just starting to do its thing. Oh, there you are. Hello. Touching the tops of the trees. That hill over there. It's actually rather pleasant, but I'm saying that under the layers of two puffies and two gloves. But it is rather pleasant. The hike has been pretty mellow so far. A little ups, a little downs, but easy trail. Little mud puddles here and there, little patch of snow. But even the mud puddles are mostly solid. I think in a little bit, but it doesn't really stick to you. Yeah, every time I look down and see all the deep ruts that people made from getting stuck in the mud, I feel blessed. Right place, right time. For now, there's bound to be some. You have to expect some. But it's nice that it hasn't started, you know, 30 or 40 miles ago. You can only imagine trying to do this section, because this is kind of a long one without without uh, food in there. It's uh, six days or so from one to the next. But with mud slowing you down like this, it's gonna take that much longer. burn a lot more energy. 
at least right here I got cold enough for water to freeze a bit. It's gotta be the thinnest little thing. Yeah, it's thicker than I thought it'd be. It's definitely flowing underneath it though. No birds singing. Nothing but wind and all the noises as I make. I am happy about all the water there's been. Decently easy crossing. Shouldn't have to get my feet wet. But I am well hydrated. I had to get up to pee three times last night. That's rare. I've got a huge bladder. It's inconvenient, but drank a lot of water yesterday. And these things are a sure sign that it, there has been snow recently, especially because they're still in tunnel shape. From what I hear, that's the rodents digging around in the snow. I just said it looked like the snow was pooping them out, just the way it melts. And that's a sure sign snow was just here too. When you fear snow as much as I do, you, you look for signs. This is really pretty. The snow is becoming a little more frequent, but I guess it was a bit colder up here last night. Not that I could be much higher than where I started, um, but all the wet spots are frozen over. The stuff that would be the mud I'd squish into at least are frozen over. Doesn't feel any colder to me, but I'm still bundled up. I'm hoping to reach my water source and second coffee before I have to do a wardrobe change. So then I can do it all gradual. There's been a lot of these. And I'm assuming it's where water was just trickling through or maybe yeah, it's from a rodent. Uh, I don't know, but that's like the fifth one I've seen. Iceberg dead ahead. This is the biggest one I've come across so far. But I'm assuming that there will be melted footprints for all of them because none of this is fresh snow by any means. Oh my god, it's solid ice. So I'm kind of glad I don't have my micro spikes because those things aren't the lightest things in the world. And I already have enough garbage on my back. the tree and snow obstacle the snow actually makes it easier because it gives you like a foot or two raise so it was easy gives you cushion when you jump down on the other side even though it's ice it still has a little give we have a shadow that's just a gorgeous open meadow well, not open, open, but open. Trail's starting to thaw, get a little sloppier in sections. But I feel like I'm headed downhill now. I don't know for how long, because I can't see very far in front of me. Now, I know I'm always saying they're cat prints, but these don't definitely don't have claw marks on them. Deeper ones. Oh, no, I see a claw mark. Right there. Oh, never mind. I'll slide. Oh, I believe that is my water source. Well, it is now anyway. Is that a really big bird? That is. Canada geese. 
two of them swimming around in there. Yeah, I like a little bird poop in my water. Brings out the flavors in my coffee. I think there's an outlet right here where it's flowing out somewhere and it'll cross the trail. But this one and the next one are supposed to look pretty much the same. And I'm in the mood for coffee and breakfast again, so this one is it. Yeah, this lot was made for my butt. Uh, it doesn't seem to be flowing out much. Trickling, maybe. Yeah, trickling. So I'm going for the main thing. Ooh, somebody's half buried skull. Oh, no, there's only half a skull. Who knows, there may have been way more and I missed them all. Sometimes they're a thunderous herd, and sometimes the sound of my coffee covers up everything. Yeah, there's a bunch of stragglers. Stragglers. I saw meet up with a bunch on the other side, too. I don't realize I'm here yet. Shut up when my coffee was done. I need to turn it off before I burn it. Coffee's very important stuff, ladies. Why gotta run away? Because everybody's after us all the time. While I was having my breakfast, they caught up with me. We were taking the trail, but it turned really wet, so we climbed up on the berm for a moment. I'm just hoping that trail that goes off in that direction isn't mine. I'll find out in a minute or three. Oh no, I see an AZ, AZ T sign over there. Picker and Papushka are going to carry on. I'm going to drink from this little mud hole. Water's decently clear. That's pretty. Um, I'll try to catch up with them before they hit the road. We'll hitch into town together and maybe get a late lunch, early dinner. Oh yeah, the place is closed at three. Uh, so I gotta do like 15 miles by three. Let's see how that goes. Not too bad, that's decently clear. Comes out super clear. Well, that took way longer than it should have. 
There's this annoying piece of moss floating around in there that kept getting stuck in my tube and I'd have to back flush to get it out and then it'd want to go right back in. So I'm about 15 minutes behind them. And I don't know, it might not be easier to hitch in a group, it might. I'll get there when I get there, but if it's near three, I'm not gonna bother going in. It's a pretty beautiful day out, a bit windy. The wind is cold, but not freezing. Enough that just makes me want to hike hard and I can stay a comfortable temperature. I wouldn't want to take a break right now, that's for sure. Found ourselves a trailhead. There's a little bit of water. Hey, we are here. I assume we're going this way. Mormon Lake Village. Oh, that sounds inviting, doesn't it? Let's go check it out. Oh, we're like finally done. All right, we are here. <laughs> Evidently, it's 4-7. Been following little two track for a while. The sign says Flagstaff 26 miles, but I don't believe that for a second. Somebody camping, but no fire going on or anything, so no dice. It's weird seeing a road out here. I didn't even know there's one else, and a car came out of nowhere. It's like, oh, oh, there's a road. Just speed down here. This is pretty much the sound I went to sleep to it last night. Minus the crunching of my boots. took off my hat for the first time today. My hair is wild. We're back to the cheesy gate again. But look how wide open this trail is. So change of plans. Uh, as we got closer to town and she got service, she had an update that the restaurant is closed today. And we were making good time. We were going to get to town by like 12.30, maybe 1. And everything was supposed to close at 3. So yeah, new plan is to go up. There's a place with water in like 7 or 8 miles. And then assess from there. Maybe I'll still want to carry on, maybe I won't. Um, regardless, I should be in Flagstaff, not tomorrow, but the day after, pretty late in the day, I'm imagining. So, yeah, I'm a little low on food, but nothing traumatic or anything. 
I could definitely use some more snacks. Whoa! Oh, that's a good save. You did not see that leg work. Uh, it was. It would have been convenient to go into that town, hit a restaurant, you know, get a full belly, and then buy some snakes and snacks and hit the trail again. That would have been perfect. Yeah, take what you get. I did lighten my load before I left. I had, in my mind, would have been six days worth of food, but it was just it didn't seem like too much. So I sent some of it back with my girlfriend. And I'm glad I did because it did not fit in my pack regardless, but it was overflowing before. I probably sent like four pounds back with her. But, but I'd like to have it now. I just wouldn't want to have to carry it the entire way until now. Still random snow patches here and there. Little muddy sections, but all in all, it's been a very beautiful day for hiking. The weather is temperate. It is cool, but it is not cold. I'm still wearing my mittens just because they're very comfortable. Same with the bad hat. But I'm, you know, not wearing pants underneath my kilt or anything. It's been a very few nice days when I see the people's tracks in the mud. I know they were just suffering when they came through here hating it. And here I am just a few days later in love with it. Uh, definitely a few sloppy sections you just can't avoid. I mean, not deep mud, but mud. But here's the snow to clean around. I'm hungry and moody already, and it's only been a couple of hours. It's not that I don't have food, I'm just trying to ration it out. I'm almost out of snacks. Got a few dinners and a couple lunches. Or maybe one good breakfast. Definitely enough to get me into town, but I like eating all the time. Whenever I have the urge, you know, to eat a cookie or whatever. Cookies would be nice right now. Oh yeah, I started getting all weak and woozy, so I was like, eh, screw it. Hunger is tomorrow or the day after his problem, so I'm breaking out of payday. Had a handful of animal crackers. I'm feeling much better already. But I wasn't going to make it to camp. Well, it's not really camp. The next water source, that's probably where I'm eating dinner, and then I'm going to load up some water and keep walking. It's still too early in the day, but it's still like three or four miles off, and I was not going to make it without some sort of sugar. Oh, payday! And Karen of the Day Award goes to this guy. Looks like a toadstool. Oh, these little things look like they're made out of wax. Not many of them though. It's still graffiti on my rocks. But I don't need it. There's no trail on that way.
And the trail has just been a slowly trickling stream for like the past half mile. I wasn't sure if it was the trail or not. But I see a junction here, so I'm assuming it is. And I was like, am I just following a random creek now? We've gotten into one of those areas where all the trees are marked with either a blue or an orange symbol. The trail is very manicured as well. I believe we kill the blue ones and we keep the orange ones, but I can't remember. But there's more blue than orange. But this must be a path that leads into, because the next campsite is a pay site. So I assume this is me getting closer, the fact that it's all manicured. Not that the trail hasn't been real nice all day, but not this nice. A tiny green shack. And looks like a trail register. And a little brown box over there. Oh, picnic tables and such. Oh, I am in the pay area. Well, I came along closer, but not way faster than I thought. Now, I heard there was dumpsters and water. Oh, oh I just stepped in by. Damn it. So that's Dan. I haven't seen him since the desert, since the uh, a weird water cache that was filled with bees. Um, he got off trail for a while and he's headed south, so he's given us the lay of the land up there. But according to him, there's a big cold front coming in in five-ish days, and I need to be past what's called Snowball before then. So the challenge is on. I'm going to see if I can turn up the heat a little bit. Maybe even set an alarm? Nah, I don't do alarms. Um, but turn on the heat a little bit and try to do somewhere near 30 tomorrow. Upper 20s. I did 21 today, and I only know that because they walked a similar distance, and I was a few miles behind them. Um, but since, you know, I know I need to make miles, I will just set off with that intention tomorrow. And see if I can't get up and over snowball before this cold front hits in. Huh. It's planned. I don't do plans very well, but it's planned. Oh, pretty nice little water flow right behind the campsite. That's Dan. He's got the same tent as me, but a greenish one. I don't even see me. Oh, I'm way behind the trees. It's nice. I got a pooper, a garbage can, water. What more do you need? <laughs> 